Our old people designed a system where everybody got fed, everybody had a house, everybody was involved in the culture, and when they were old, everyone got looked after. And year after year, generation after generation, decade after decade, millennia after millennia, young Aboriginal people saw the wisdom in that system and supported it and replicated it uh, throughout the generations. people who remarked who went over the, the mountains and out onto the plains where they said they saw the, the grasses, kangaroo grass and that, lined up in great sheaths, you know, just the way they do in England. But that was torn out of the book because we weren't supposed to be human. We don't look at the whole. Nobody looks at the whole. And yet we did, all those hundreds of years ago. We looked at the whole. We're destroying the earth, destroying the planet. And this is the way forward. What, what Aboriginal people uh, did is exportable. A system that's exportable to the world. A lot of people think that's far too romantic. But it, it can be done in a very pragmatic way. Just have a bit of a Captain Cook. Um, now this one's only three quarter grown. They're a small vegetable, they probably only grow that big and perhaps you know half as wide again, but they are eight times as nutritious as a potato. The seeds drill themselves in so you don't need to harrow, you don't need to plough, you don't need to do any of those things so your tractor can stay off the ground and um, it's very good for the soil as a result and very good for the environment because you're not burning diesel. We were the first scientists. This is what people don't understand. We were the first scientists. There's four elements of science. The first one is observation, the second one is experience, and they were the ones that we practiced. Today, it's measurement and experiment. But if you put the four together, then you've got true science. And it's taken them 200 years to, to realize that, you know, our science, they need our science to be able to continue their science because their science isn't working anymore. There's these wonderful things that people can learn from us but they haven't bothered for a long time, but now there's this great rush, you know. Oh, quick, quick, we want all this information. How come in a country with 100 cooking shows that we don't know the name of that grain? We don't know the recipe for it. It's, why are we resisting this information? Because it's Aboriginal? Because it makes us feel guilty about having taken the land from people growing these fabulous foods? Well, get over it. Do what John Howard said get over it and learn that there's a lot of benefit in Aboriginal intelligence and Aboriginal uh, production of food. It's specific to this country. It defies your intelligence not to want to use that, but it needs that kind of approach where black and white come together and white might say to black, look, uh, we are sorry, not just for the stolen generation, but we are sorry for the damage we've done to the land and how much we've taken from you. We're now going to do something about it, and we're going to do it together. Now, black and white together. <laughs>